free energy, hidden innovations, and a future in the past. If someone asks you who Nikolai Tesla is, tell them these three phrases. If they're fortunate, they'll want to know more. Otherwise, don't narrate the stories of greatness to the absentees. Over 150 years ago, the Earth witnessed a new era of revolutionary innovations, from which emerged inventions that greatly shaped the life we live today. Its first narrative was penned by a bold Serbian thinker with a free and innovative mind known as Tesla. What is the story of Nikolai that greatly influenced human life today? And what is its relationship with Thomas Edison and Albert Einstein? What is the reality of secret inventions and free energy? And what is the story of ion experiments in charged particles in space? In this episode, we will journey back to the beginnings of modern history and unveil documents and extremely important events that will narrate to you a secretive era in the life of the most famous inventor of the 20th century. You will hear for the first time the second story of Nikolai Tesla, a story you have not heard before. On a stormy night in 1856, Tesla was born in Croatia to Serbian parents. It was a harsh night with thunder and lightning roaring with great power, prompting the midwife to say that this newborn would be a child of the storm. However, the mother replied, no, he will be a child of lightning. These whispers served as an anticipation of a bright future. Nikolai did not complete his early childhood years until he was struck by cholera. However, he recovered from it strangely once his father gave up on demanding that he become a priest. As days passed, Tesla grew rapidly and joined an engineering school, where he demonstrated special abilities in solving complex mathematical problems to the extent that his teachers accused him of cheating. Tesla mentioned in his interviews and memoirs that the illness allowed him to see things from the future, and his mind envisioned inventions that did not exist at that time. Despite being an outstanding student, he eventually withdrew from the Polytechnic School of Engineering and transferred to the Graz Technical University and the University of Paris, eventually becoming a successful and exceptional electrical engineer. Unfortunately, fate led him to work for Thomas Edison's company, Continental Edison, in 1882. Unlike the first case, Edison was fortunate to meet Tesla. It seems that fate dictated that Edison's company would face another series of engineering problems in its direct current engines. Tesla presented an offer worth $50,000, which was a real fortune back then. Once again, the ambitious young Tesla stepped in to solve this problem, surpassing it within six months, working an average of 18 hours a day. However, when he asked for his promised reward, Edison told him a sentence that Tesla would never forget throughout his life. The offer was just a joke and not real. Tesla left the company six months later. With the grace of God, Tesla managed to develop good relationships with two businessmen, which led to the establishment of the Tesla Electric Light and Manufacturing Company in 1884. For the third time, Tesla fell victim to fraud when his partners decided to focus entirely on electricity supply services. They took over the company's intellectual property and patents and founded another company in 1886, leaving Tesla with nothing. However, he did not despair. In 1887, Nikolai Tesla met two investors who agreed to support the establishment of the Tesla Electric Company. Within a year, Tesla obtained his first two patents for alternating current, sparking the current wars between Edison, who advocated direct current, and Tesla with alternating current. At that time, George Westinghouse, owner of Westinghouse Electric Company, supported Tesla's alternating current. Despite the prevalence of direct current, his choice of alternating current was due to his desire to transmit electrical energy over long distances. Due to the conflict between Edison's direct current and Westinghouse's alternating current, 
their product prices were undercut together. Stung by the rise of Tesla's alternating current generators, Westinghouse decided to offer Tesla a deal to buy all his patents for a sum of $1 million, in addition to paying $1 per horsepower produced by his generators. Tesla immediately agreed to the deal, marking a new era in his life entirely. Edison felt his dominance in the field of electrical power was nearing its end as Tesla's generators for alternating current propelled the world into a new era of sustainable energy. Edison resorted to filing a lawsuit against Tesla, claiming he had violated his patents. However, he lost the lawsuit easily because Tesla's inventions were original, innovative, and groundbreaking. After his defeat, Edison launched a media war to discredit Tesla, undermine the value of his inventions, and even stole many of them. Nonetheless, Tesla gradually won the War of Currents. In 1893, the city of Chicago hosted the world's Columbian Exposition, where Tesla had a massive platform to showcase the advantages of alternating current. He managed to illuminate the entire exhibition with more light bulbs than were present in the entire city of Chicago. He astounded the crowds with a variety of electrical wonders, including lights that illuminated without the need for copper wires, artificial lightning, and passing millions of volts of current through his body. It was a resounding success and an unprecedented display earning him the title of the Man of the Future and the Chair of Faraday. Tesla's innovations far surpassed Edison's. Edison couldn't bear this reality. On March 13, 1895, Tesla's office caught fire, and all his patents were burned, with many later attributed to Edison. The work of the past 10 years was lost, leading to Tesla's complete bankruptcy. Despite this setback, Tesla managed to retrieve most of his inventions from his strong memory within just half a year, allowing him to stand on his feet again. Later, Tesla assisted Westinghouse in winning a contract to generate electricity at Niagara Falls, leading to the construction of the world's first large-scale power station. With the earnings from this contract, Tesla established his scientific laboratory in Building 46 on Houston Street. There, he invented a mechanical oscillator for selective resonance, which later became one of the secret weapons of the great powers. This invention created a steady and uniform current that caused significant vibrations in the building itself, eventually extending to large areas. It was powerful enough to destroy the Brooklyn Bridge in just two minutes. Strangely, on the same day and time of the experiment in 1898, there was a seismic event in the surrounding area. Was Tesla's invention related to it, or was it just a coincidence? Edison had no answer to Tesla's brilliance, as Tesla turned his focus toward charged astronomy and utilizing lightning strikes to generate electricity. In 1899, he headed to the Colorado Springs where he built his famous laboratory, housing the most famous photograph in the world. He constructed a giant bipolar transformer capable of storing electric charges and generating millions of volts at a frequency of up to 150,000 hertz. Tesla then succeeded in generating wireless electricity and confirmed it, by placing light bulbs in the ground and hitting the laboratory's receiver with lightning. He managed to triple the energy, illuminating all the city lights wirelessly, hundreds of kilometers away. Following this experiment, Tesla pioneered wireless transmission of free electricity, stating that this system not only distributed electricity worldwide, but also provided wireless communication. In 1901, Tesla convinced J.P. Morgan's bank to invest in building a tower in Long Island City, believing it would fulfill his plan to supply the world with electricity. However, his dream didn't materialize as he couldn't convince the financiers during the initial trials. 
The bank quickly withdrew funding as the project meant enormous financial losses estimated in billions annually as all the world's population would enjoy free electricity without paying a single penny. True to his nature of never giving up, in 1905 Tesla purchased land in Long Island with support from a funded company and began the construction of Warden Life Tower. It was a copper-clad broadcasting device functioning as an amplifier for sound but it amplified electrical current to millions of volts based on internal resonance of the ionized shell. Tesla tested the project, managing to light up the sky for thousands of kilometers. However, the funded company also rejected this project and withdrew support immediately. The tower, which was supposed to signify the beginning of free electricity for the second time, was closed. After this incident, Tesla decided to conduct a highly dangerous experiment in 1908, transmitting electricity through an ionosphere layer to turn it into an artificial lightning weapon. To avoid any casualties, he executed the experiment in East Siberia, specifically in Tunguska, succeeding in passing a massive charge of electricity in the form of lightning to explode there. Half of the northern area witnessed the light resulting from this process. As to projecting wave energy to any particular region of the globe, this can be done by my devices. The spot at which the desired effect is to be produced can be calculated very closely, assuming the accepted terrestrial measurements to be correct. This experiment was one of Tesla's most secretive, as he was forced to sign an agreement to keep it quiet. He announced then that a giant meteor had struck Tunguska, and the story remained hidden for over 50 years, during which Tesla was put under the surveillance of international intelligence agencies. This experiment was the official beginning of manipulating the climate, or what is known as Project Harp today, which some simple-minded people believe is just a theory with no existence. The simple principle it relies on is ionosphere layer stimulation, and by the way, it wasn't the only one. He also managed to design the peace rays, which are rays capable of remotely destroying thousands of aircraft. Something people don't know is that Tesla hated war, so he hid many innovations fearing their use in military matters. Five years after this experiment, the Italian Marconi received the Nobel Prize for developing the radio device based on Tesla's research in wireless communications. Tesla filed a lawsuit for infringement on his patent, but the court ruled against him, losing Tesla another battle in his life and a new theft of his ideas. He felt extreme frustration thereafter for the theft of his numerous inventions. He then presented a magnificent display at Madison Square Garden regarding wireless boat control, an extremely astonishing innovation, so astonishing that many people described it as a trick. Instead of admiration and praise, Tesla faced condemnation and was even described as dealing with evil spirits. Afterward, he developed an electric motor that enables cars to operate without fuel. But this idea was strictly opposed because it would cause significant losses to diesel stations. So Tesla decided to go solo in his own lab. After all these innovations, if you think Tesla has reached the end of his ideas, you should know it's just the beginning because what's coming is big, strange, and unbelievable. We've reached the end of the first part of Tesla's story. We'll return to you with the second part and reveal to you the rest of his fantastic innovations, including instantaneous transportation, hiding ships, Einstein's secret experiment in Philadelphia during the climate war, the three American incidents, and will narrate his communication with other lands and what happened to him in his final days before his mysterious disappearance. All this and more will be revealed to you soon.